For most people, Panama City is a pass-through city on their way to the beautiful jungles and beaches that connect North and South America. But to me, it was a home. I made it my own for a month, exploring and experiencing everything the city has to offer. I immediately fell in love with the city. The skyline, the history, the energy. It is such a modern, vibrant place. I spent my first few weeks in Casco Viejo, the old town, then spent some time in the business district. I made friends, went to local markets, and took it slow. It was so nice to really slow down the pace and get to know a city on a deeper level. I practiced documenting the everyday experiences and wanted to share 10 of my favorite days in Panama City with you. Just got to Panama this morning at about 6 in the morning and I'm in the uh, old town of Panama City and I'm going to go see if there's anything going on for Easter morning. There's a church down here. They had a statue and a bunch of flowers so maybe that's where the procession starts. We've been parading through the back streets here and we're about to do the triumphal entry into the big courtyard here. Alright, the bells are ringing and the trumpets are playing and Jesus is coming to the courtyard. Tonight I have some friends meeting in Casco Viejo, the old city here in Panama, and we're going to get some bikes and we're going to kind of cruise around the old town. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Right, so we just picked up our bike rentals here and we have to walk them through the old town here, but then we'll get to ride on some of the bike paths around here. Left Casco Viejo, the old town. And we're up on the Cinta Costera Bridge, which is a big U that wraps around the old town and it has this beautiful bike path lined with flowers. And yeah, you get great views of Costco and the city in the background. All right, so this part of the Cinta Costera is just a beautiful bike path and you're just biking right towards the skyline. Uh, and it's right at dusk right now. It's a, been a beautiful bike back to the old town. Just about 20 minutes from Panama City, uh, you can drive to the Miraflores Lock here, which is where boats go from the Caribbean Sea to the Pacific Ocean through a series of locks. So let's go up there and check it out. The lock here is about eight stories high and it's gravity fed. So the water goes from one canal into another parallel one to lift and lower the water levels. This afternoon, it's a little bit cloudier, almost looks like it's about to rain here, but that's nice because it's going to give nice even lighting, so I'm going to walk around the city and uh, try to get some photos of the architecture here in Panama City. I found this one building right here that looks like it might be an open air parking garage, about five or six stories high, and there's a balcony up there, so I'm going to see if that might be a spot for uh, some photos. Alright, just finished six flights of stairs. And there's this one door here, so we'll see if it's locked or not. Wow, this view is insane. So this one's about six stories high, so you're not getting like 360 degree views of the city or anything, but you're kind of up halfway among some of these towers and it's just elevating your view a little bit. So I'm gonna get some shots and then uh, keep exploring the city. There's another rooftop garage I'll have to try some other time, get a different view. 
going to head over to my friend Twyla's house. She lives in a high-rise apartment in Punta Pacifica, and we're going to see the views from her apartment and also see if we can get to the rooftop of her apartment building. All right, so I'm at my friend Twyla's apartment here, and we're going to go see if we can find a rooftop. So we've come up to the 62nd floor, and from here we have to take this sketchy like back staircase up to the top, so let's check it out. All right, so the views are amazing from here, but we do just have this building here that's blocking a little bit of the promenade, but there's a staircase right here that takes me up a couple stories. Climbing that two extra stories definitely was worth it because look at this 360 degree view of the city. This is insane. Wow. Beautiful. All right, let me shoot. Hey, what's up, man? Hello. How's it going? Uh -huh. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. So this is uh, Lionel. I met him at a coffee shop the what other up? day. <laughs> he had some cameras. We're like, let's shoot. So here we are in Calle 50, and we're going to try to do some urban uh, night photography and some portraiture. So what are you shooting on today? I'm shooting on a Sony 7.3. First up, I found this wall here that has this nice like geometric pattern. So we're doing just a couple portraits here to start. So unfortunately, we're losing light really quickly here. We're going to start shooting with some of the street lights and some neons, like this karaoke sign across the way. So I just found this like weird billboard that's just white. So we're shooting some silhouettes here with a slightly long exposure to get the cars just like rushing by. One last shot we see here is this uh, orange angle to the gas station here. This afternoon we're checking out Panama Viejo, the first settled area on the Pacific Ocean, and it was the original uh, part of Panama City. All right, I'm gonna start off here at the museum. So this tower behind me is the Panama Viejo Cathedral, and it was built in 1540, and it looks like there's stairs, so I'm gonna go see if I can climb up it and get a view of the ruins from up there. Climbed up three stories to the top of the bell tower, and there's these really cool windows here where you can see the city in the background. Now I'm down in the apex of what the church was, and just check out some more of the surviving ruins of this old town. There's a lot more to explore, but it actually just started pouring on us, so I'm gonna go try to find some shelter. This morning I'm heading back to Twyla's rooftop and we're gonna do some rooftop yoga but I'm also gonna fly up the drone there and get some aerial shots. There's really restrictive drone geofencing around here in Panama City but her apartment happens to fall in one of the spots where you can't actually fly. This afternoon for the sunset, we're gonna go up the JW Marriott Tower. It's the very iconic curved building in the city. And there's a rooftop bar at the top. So we're gonna go up there and get a nice view looking back at the city.
this afternoon I'm just walking around downtown Panama City and I wanted to show you my favorite building here, El Tornillo, which means screw in Spanish. It is one of the most beautiful buildings I've seen even throughout most of my travels. It's just such a unique and distinct look to it. It's so geometric, it's so fun to photograph. So the tower is 763 feet tall and it's the ninth tallest building in Panama City. So it's nowhere near being the tallest, but as you're like walking through the city, every once in a while you'll see it in between buildings. Uh, it's very centrally located on uh, Calle 50, which is one of the main roads that kind of goes through Panama City. Mm -hmm. 